Hey guys, it's Melissa. In this video, we are going to talk about the differences, the pros and cons of what is going on with the Prestige A3 Plus model and the newer A3 Plus R model. So as you can see, I obviously have the A3 Plus, which is a sheet-fed desktop DTF printer. There is a newer model now, which is about the same size as far as um, its footprint. However, it gives you the ability to not only feed sheets through, but also rolls. So the big difference there obviously is the roll feeder. But what that allows you to also do is have an inline setup so that you do not have to manually uh, put powder on your uh, transfers that print out and you don't have to use an oven to cure them. It, there's an automatic um, uh, machine, the Seismo 11, that you can use. You don't have to, but it allows you to have a fully automated inline system. So the differences here are not a whole lot other than the fact that it has the roll, but what that's going to do is it's going to open up a lot of other, you know, kind of features for you as far as the ability to grow and scale your business and be able to not only print transfers 13 by 19, but also 13 inches wide by basically infinitely long so you can print larger de uh, transfers you can print larger gang sheets you can keep production up by continually continuing to be able to print on a continuous roll so the um, all of the tutorials that I have on how to use the prestige a3 plus will also apply to the a3 plus R you will um, obviously just need to set up that roll which you will see the roll will go in the back of that model and then it will feed through now if you end up deciding that you want to go with the Seismo 11 as well, that will attach in the front. So you'll use the tray that comes out. It looks a little bit different. The, the printer itself just looks slightly different. It's, you know, but like I said, the, the footprint is pretty much the same, but you'll use that a tray that comes out in the front and then the, the um, automa automatic shaker and oven also has a tray and they kind of attach together. So one thing that you should be aware of with that is that that will take up more room. You are going to need more room for that. Um, so the Seismo 11 is not a small machine. It's about 36 inches long. So that's about three feet. Now, it, it, the other the dimensions of it, the width and the height are not terrible, but if you have a limited space, you are going to want to be aware of that. But the benefits obviously are that, as I mentioned, you can continue to print on a roll and that is really gonna help you speed up production. You will not have to manually cure your powder like you do when you are doing sheet fed DTF and you will not have to use a separate oven or heat press to cure. So um, other than that though, pretty much um, these machines are pretty comparable as far as the other features that they include. Uh, there is a price difference, about $800 price difference um, for the R, R stands for roll. Um, and otherwise though, like I said, you can use the same type of DTF sheets. Uh, you can use, you cannot use a roll in this one. You can use a roll in the other one. Software is the same. Um, the rest of the process is pretty much the same. Now I do want to point out that you can get the uh, A3 plus R without that inline system. So you can print rolls on that and, and, you know, cut them yourself and then do, um, the curing powder and the either an oven or a heat press yourself. So you don't have to set it up as an inline, but it is an option, which, you know, you might want to grow and scale into. So I have a lot of information that's going to be coming out. I obviously don't have the R model. So that's why I'm using some of these graphics here to help you kind of visualize how this all goes together. But, you know, I've done multiple tutorials and videos and uh, written blog posts on Silhouette School about how to use uh, this model, the original A3 Plus, which is still available. Um, so now you just have more than one option. DTF is really taking off in the desktop size and home uh, craft and small business market. So you are probably going to continue to see more and more of these desktop size DTF printers and options. So, um, well, I'll continue to bring you more. And of course, we'll keep having more reviews, more tutorials, and a whole lot for you so you can decide which one is right for your business. And I should point out, this is not a hobby craft machine. Okay, so just, you know, be aware the price point is definitely higher. In order to get into uh, the, the A3 Plus, you're looking base 
at about 3200 and that does not include ink. Of course, there are bundles, so I would suggest that you, you know, get a bundle and we've talked extensively about that. Um, the A3 Plus R model starts at about $800 above that at $39.95. So again, not a hobby craft machine, but if you have a small business, if you're, you know, want cutless, weedless transfers for garments, specifically full color DTF is a really, really good option. Check out all of the other videos and tutorials that I have, everything from how to set up the software to how to do your first um, DTF print on the A3 Plus to how to um, uh, uh, apply and how to cure using just a heat press. I got lots of content, so make sure you check it all out. See you guys soon.